Hey, what's up guys, Indian Sensei here. Welcome back to another episode of Ninja Voltage. So in this video, I am gonna quickly explain how this trade leg works. Uh, I already made a video on it few weeks back. If you haven't already, you should watch it first. Uh, the link will be in the description and in the i button. But at that time, I was not able to unlock any trade. So I was not able to explain uh, clearly. But yeah, so this is technically a part two of that video. So let's get started. So what is 2 link, 3 link or 4 link? So basically in simple terms, link between 2 shinobis is 2 link link between 3 shinobis is 3 link and link between 4 shinobis is 4 link. It's that simple. So in other words, if a trade has 2 link and 3 link, just like this wood style, if you use 2 shinobis with this trade unlocked, you will get 2 link stat bonus. So let's see. First we go to wood style and we can see all the wood style uh, trades which have in the shinobis. So some of them are locked because we haven't played missions with them like 50 missions we have to play to unlock this wood style for Ashura. Same goes for these units also. So that's why it's showing trade locked. So even if you use them, you won't get the tooling symbol in the right side. So yeah, but uh, let's select Juvito. Yeah, so it shows tooling wood style because Juvito has wood style unlocked by default. So it's showing tooling. Now because we have used two shinobis, it's showing tooling. If we use three shinobis, for example, let's choose Edo Madara. So it's showing three link. Now. Even if we choose 4 shinobi as well, it will still show 3 link. Why? Because this wood style doesn't have 4 link in it. It only has 2 link and 3 link. And also, yeah, these don't get combined. I mean, if you remove uh, 2 units and you only have 2 units left, it will show 2 link. And 2 link stat bonus is what? Uh, 1000 HP for all the users. Now, if I click on 3 link, now we have 3 link here and it will show 3000 HP plus 1000 CP. It will not show 2 link because 2 link has been overridden because it belongs to the same trait. If 2 link was in another trait, then it would have shown 2 link, 3 link separately. But now, in this case, wood style, it has uh, combined in 2 link, 3 link in the wood style trait. So it will replace the best one when you choose 3 shinobis. So yeah. So now, how do we get 4 link? So I have unlocked this legendary Sanin lineage. If you click on anyone like uh, this one, yeah. So it will show all the shinobis that can activate this. So for that I am using these four and I have activated their uh, legendary Sanin lineage and it says four link. So if I remove one shinobi from here, if I remove one shinobi from uh, my list, the four link will disappear. Why? Because it's only available for four shinobis. As I told earlier, four link is for four shinobis. So if you don't have four shinobis, it will not get activated. So as soon as I choose this uh, legendary Sanin lineage, the four link gets completed. And yeah, it's showing four link. So I also have multiple links here. As you can see, the six pass power and fire style. This fire style belongs to Sasuke. So it has two link unlocked. So I have both the Sasuke's here, which have fire style unlocked. That's why it's showing two link. And as for the three link, three link is because of this, uh, this uh, six pass power trade. So this has like Sasuke, Pain, and SO6P Naruto, Rene Sharingan, Sasuke, Nagato, SO6P Madara, and Naruto Light Shadow Sasuke. So I have three out of these four units. That's why it's showing six pass power. If Naruto Light, uh, sorry, if Naru Kage had the six pass power trait, which is not here for some reason, if he had it, then I would have extra four link six pass power instead of three link. So I hope you understand what I'm trying to say here. So yeah, uh, this is how it works. You can have multiple links here as long as it do doesn't belong to the same trait like this. If it doesn't belong to the same trait, you can have multiple four links, multiple three links, multiple two links in one uh, squad. Now, how can we have multiple two links, three links? Yes, you can have that. Like this example, I have two shinobis of wind style. Uh, KCM Naruto and Zero Six Path Naruto has wind style unlocked, and I have two shinobis of fire style. Uh, Sasuke versus Itachi and Heavy Sasuke. So these have. Uh, these two have fire style and these two have wind style. That's why it's showing two link for fire style, two link for wind style. Just like this, you can have multiple two links, three links. Uh, just you need to find the right trait. So yeah, if you can manage the right trait, you can have multiple links in, in the right side and use this squad. 
now lot of people have been asking why are these traits useful for so let's take uh, this squad for example i have created this squad so if i click on it i get total of 10000 hp bonus 9000 defense bonus and 3500 attack bonus which is really good so i can use this squad in various missions now let's uh, assume that this is a very difficult stage and we you don't have a lot of good shinobis now but if you have the trait unlocked for these shinobis if you click on the active trait link you can see you have a hp defense and attack bonus which is very useful but this uh, most people think that this will reflect in their stats but it's not the case you cannot see it in the stats for example i will show you one thing uh, this is hp 124 k hp okay so now the stats are these but i have the 10000 bonus so let's go in the mission and let's see what happens so if this works then you will have 130 something hp 134 k hp because we have 10000 hp bonus see the top you can see we have 134 instead of 124 so it is same for all the units here of course we cannot see our support stats but yeah you get the picture so i can use this in super difficulty missions I can use this in attack missions. I can use this in all out missions, fortress battles. I can use this in uh, the super difficulty stage of round up or normal stage of round up. If you unlock the trait for the specific shinobis, then you will have an extra bonus. So yeah, it's very useful. Now it's not that if you don't register this squad, you won't get the benefit. You will get the benefit, but registering just helps you to choose the squad as uh, you know fast in case of doing missions you can just quickly switch between squads from the uh, mission screen that's why registering is very useful if uh, with your team for example if you are using a, a team for attack mission like i am using this team for attack mission so i have created one squad for them and i am uh, right now i was trying to unlock the traits for this team so that's why i have created uh, this squad for the normal missions yeah so that's the case if you don't register it you can still get the bonus Uh, make sure they have their traits unlocked but if you don't register it uh, you will not be able to quickly choose between squads when you are in the mission so now the question arises is that what traits should be focus on so i would recommend for now at least make sure to uh, unlock some traits for the shinobis you are using currently for example this is my team for attack mission so i am trying to unlock their traits and i have so far unlocked the three link and two link for these shinobis uh, and yeah it's nothing much but it's you know decent it's better than having nothing it's like 1500 attack and 10% critical for all my shinobis so i am trying to unlock all their traits slowly and when uh, you know it's really useful to use in attack missions uh, for example if you are using this team this particular team then you can see the bonus is really good and it's really useful for new players uh, who don't have good uh, stats in their shinobi so yeah also these traits don't work for defense and these traits don't work for sam missions these traits don't work for team battles in which you play with other players so yeah this trait doesn't work then this trait will only work when you play missions with your own four shinobis or oh more than two shinobis at least so that all it guys hope you enjoyed the video and i hope i cleared some doubts if you still have any questions uh, regarding this straight link feature do comment down it below or if you have more question detailed question then you can just uh, message me on discord if you don't understand anything uh, discord link will be in the description just join the server and you know just message me and i will help you out so yeah thanks for watching i'll see you next time sayonara